Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to discuss how you can um, solve for n in the following um, equations that we've been given. All right, so this is a very simple question and make sure that you subscribe to the channel in case you have not yet done that so that every video that I'm going to be posting, at least you should be able to be notified. And don't forget to click on the notification button there after subscribing. And um, if you have any questions or you would like to join uh, the tuitions, you can simply contact me using these lines on the screen. Okay, let's continue. So this is the question. So the first question says, um, n choose r is equal to 15. So in the previous questions, I showed you how you can, um, how you can evaluate if you Oh, sorry the question is n choose 2 is equal to 15 so in the previous question i showed you how you can evaluate this n choose r we said this one can either be written as n factorial uh, over r factorial open brackets n minus r factorial so this is exactly what you are supposed to do if you've been given anything that is in this format and then apart from that if, for instance, you've been given 3 choose 2, 3 choose 2 is going to be equal to 3 factorial over 2 factorial, then open brackets 3 minus uh, 2 factorial. So this can also be written as, um, or you can simply simplify it, and you're going to get 3 factorial over 2 factorial. 3 minus 1 gives you 1. 1 factorial there. So you can simply now just say um, 3 times 2 factorial over 1 factorial is 1 so we can simply just uh, write 2 factorial because we, we have when you multiply 1 times 2 factorial still get 2 factorial. So that 2 factorial and that 2 factorial cancel so the final answer will just be 3. So the other way you can simplify this in a simpler, in, in a simpler way is um, it's by simply uh, uh, first starting with the denominator there, the R. You start with the R and then you write um, the 2 factorial down. So 2 factorial is simply just, uh, okay, let me do this, 2 factorial down. And then, um, okay, even, even without writing this, let me just say, you first write 2 factorial, and 2 factorial we know that is just the same as uh, 2 times 1. So you start with writing what is down. So if you have 2 numbers down here, we have 2, 1, 2. Sometimes you can have 4, sometimes you can have 5, depending with uh, the, the number that you've been given. So uh, since we have 2, meaning we have 2 factorial down there. So we have 2 numbers there. So since we have 2 numbers, on top there, we're also going to write 3 factorial, but as we write 3 factorial, we have to end at, um, or we have to write exactly the number of numbers that are in the denominator. So since we have two numbers there, on the numerator there, we also write 3 times 2. We end there. Since there are two numbers down, we make sure that uh, the numerator should also have what? Two numbers. So... Okay, so from there, we just have to cancel what is common. So 2 and 2, they are common. So the answer will just be 3 over 1, which gives you 3. Yeah, so that's the simplest way. So for this one, for the second um, yeah, for the second part, let me give you another example because I want us to use the second uh, method uh, to solve the questions. That's why I'm emphasizing that. So... You can also have maybe 5 choose, uh, 5 choose 3, 5 choose 3, so meaning I'll start with writing what is in the denominator there which is 3, so I'll write 3 factorial down which will be 3 times 2 times 1, and uh, since there are 3 numbers there, I'll make sure that on top there I'll also write 3 numbers, 5, starting from the, uh, the value of n there, 5 times 4 times 3, so the number of numbers down should be equal to the number of numbers on the numerator. So I can cancel that 3 and that 3. And 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 4, 2. 5 times 2, 
we are getting 10 as the solution. So this is how you use this uh, second method. It's very simple. So let's use that same one to solve the questions. So we have that is equal to that. So this one, this side on the left, I'll first start by writing the denominator, which is 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. So in the numerator there, I'll have n as the first number. And then the second number will be n minus 1. And this is what I'm going to have. So this will be equal to 15. So I'll make sure that what is down there, I have two numbers down. Meaning the numerator there are also supposed to be two numbers. So um, I can simplify this. So n times n, I'm getting n squared. N, ti n times negative 1, I'm getting negative n. Over 2 times 1, that's 2 is equal to 15. So when you simplify this further, you're going to have n squared minus n cross multiply there is equal to 30. So this is a quadratic equation which everyone, I believe, can solve. So we have n minus n. When this 30 crosses the equal sign, we're going to get negative 30 being equal to 0. So the factors, I mean the product is going to be 1 times negative 30, which gives us negative 30. Then the sum is going to be the coefficient of n there which is negative one so which two numbers can we multiply uh, to get negative 30 when we add we get negative one so it's negative six and five so when we multiply these two numbers we're getting negative 30 when you add them we're getting negative one so we can replace them there we have negative uh, n squared then positive five n negative six n minus 30 is equal to zero so we factorize the, the equation uh, n plus 5. This is what we're going to have. And we have negative 6 n plus 5 is equal to 0. And then n plus 5. Um, then we have n minus 6 is equal to 0. And then from there, we're going to have... Um, from there, we're going to have... We're going to equate all this to 0. So we have n plus 5 is equal to 0. And n minus uh, 6 is equal to 0. So the first value of n will be negative 5. And then the other value of n will be 6. Now, the question is saying n is what? Is a positive integer. So this one is disqualified. Hence, the value of n is what? 6, which is this one, since it's positive. So it's a simple question. If you have any question about what I've solved, you can simply just text me on WhatsApp, then I'll see how best I can help you. Let's move on to B. So on B, we have n plus 2. Uh, n, n plus 2 choose R. n plus 2 choose R. Our R there is what? Is 4. Then we are saying this is equal to 6. And choose 2. So we are going to do the same. On the denominator there, I am going to have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. On the numerator there, I am going to have n plus 2. Then from there, we subtract 1 from 2. We are going to have n plus uh, 2 minus 1 is 1. Then from there, we subtract 1 from this um, uh, from this part here. So we are going to have 1 minus 1, which is just going to have n. So n plus 1 minus 1 is just going to give us n. And then the last one, since we have 4 numbers down, we need to have 4 uh, numbers on top as well. So the last one will therefore be n minus 1, because we are subtracting 1 from each term that we are having there. So we say this is equal to, then we have 6, open brackets. Down there, we are going to have 2 times 1. On the numerator, since we have two numbers down, on the numerator, we also need to have two numbers. The first one should be the value of n there. The second one will be n minus 1. So this is what we have. All right, so this 2 times 1 to give us 2. So 2 and 2 there can cancel. I mean, I mean 2 can go into 6 three times. Then down there, what we can have, I mean, what we're going to have is uh, 4 times 3 times 2, which gives us... Uh, 24 yeah so on the numerator there uh, so if we divide on both sides we divide both sides by n minus 1 you di you discover that that and that will go 
we divide by n on both sides that n and that n will go so we're just going to remain with n plus 2 and n plus 1 and then everything over when you multiply this we're getting 24 then this will be equal to 3 yeah because everything has cancelled with something so we're just going to equate that to 3 so the other thing that we're going to have here I mean what we're going to do is to cross multiply so we're going to have as well cross multiplying we're going to multiply this and that so n times n we're getting n squared n times 1 we're getting positive n 2 times n we're getting 2n then 2 times 1 we're getting 2 and this is equal to 24 times 3 which gives us 72 so here it's just a matter of simplifying so let us uh, simplify so simplifying this we're going to have this 72 cross the equal sign so the first term we're going to have is n squared and then n plus sorry for that n plus 2n we're getting 3n and then we have positive 2 minus 72 being equal to 0 so we're having n squared plus 3n and then negative 70 being equal to 0 so we have to find numbers that we're going to multiply yeah and those numbers that we're going to multiply they have to give us what negative 70 when we add those two numbers we need to get the sum which is positive uh, 3 and then these two numbers are simply just uh, 7 and 3 uh, sorry um, yeah, so it's 10 and uh, 7 7 and 10 but one of them should be positive so which one is going to be positive the smaller number so that if we add them we should get a positive 3 all right so we replace them there we're going to have uh, uh, negative 7 negative 7 n positive 10 n minus 70 is equal to 0 so factorizing this will give us n minus 7 then we say plus 10 open brackets n minus 7 being equal to 0 and then uh, you can factor out what is common there which is n minus 7 and then you write the remaining part in brackets as well so you equate each of the terms to, uh, each of the factors to 0 so n plus 10 you, you also equate this to 0 so when this crosses the equal sign we're going to have the first value of n to be 7 and then the second value of n is going to be equal to negative 10 so negative 10 so the question says um, n is a positive integer meaning the negative number will be disqualified the value of n is therefore equal to 7 so if you have any questions feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen and then i'll get back to you as uh, as early or as quickly as possible um, as soon as i see your question and if you want to join the tuitions, the lessons, feel free to contact me on the lines on the screen. My name is Hamted. See you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.